Hey everyone, here I am again with a little follow-up on my experiment with rubber band powered torpedoes. If you recall my last video, we got this little guy to run for a little bit inside my bathtub, but uh, due to the limited space I have available, I wasn't able to quite gauge on how far uh, I was able to get this uh, torpedo to run under rubber band power. My estimate was something along the lines of maybe four or five feet. Uh, I was looking on how to increase the range even further, and interestingly, following the release of my previous video, I received a cool tip from a fellow modeler uh, who essentially told me to keep the width of the elastic band inside uh, to be as thin as possible. So uh, what I did was I replaced the uh, rubber band that was inside uh, with something a bit uh, thinner. Rather, uh, what I did was uh, I took the original rubber band, here we have another example, and I simply cut uh, this in half. So the width of the newer band that's inside is, has been uh, reduced in half. And what this does, and notice right away, is that it kind of creates a somewhat more squarish profile, uh, cross-section, rather, uh, of the elastic band. And what I suspect this could do is allow this uh, to unwind in a, uh, I guess, a more, much more smoother manner. Uh, if you can imagine, you know, uh, something with a square cross-section uh, unwinding itself versus something with a rectangular cross-section unwinding itself, uh, the rectangular uh, elastic band could maybe unwind uh, a bit more rougher, causing more vibrations. Who knows? I'm uh, no, not an expert in this subject, but I am very curious to see uh, how this sort of new version uh, performs. Nothing else was changed in terms of mechanics. I still have the same torpedo body essentially, uh, just that uh, the rubber band inside has been replaced with this much more uh, thinner version. So let's go into the bathtub again, uh, wind this guy up and see what kind of results we get. So some really interesting results there uh, from those bathtub runs. What I did notice from the first two uh, 15 second wind up tests is that uh, there wasn't really any, no any noticeable range improvement compared to my last set of tests in the previous video. But what I did notice with this thinner elastic uh, profile is that I was able to wind this torpedo up for a much longer time this time uh, as evidenced by that 20 second uh, wind up test that you saw. Uh, I think this translates to maybe like a foot or a foot and a half of extra running distance, judging by how the torpedo hit the edge of the bathtub and kept spinning for a much longer amount of time. Uh, but nevertheless, I would have to see uh, how this behaves in a real uh, model boating pond later on in the spring. I also introduced a newer testing element, uh, and uh, this is sort of a mock uh, torpedo tube. The inner diameter is about the same size as uh, my, uh, the torpedo tube in my 135th scale U-boat. So the uh, torpedo goes in and out rather smoothly. Uh, but as expected, uh, when the spinning body of the torpedo uh, rubs against the inner walls of the tube, there is significant energy loss occurring. And, uh, but nevertheless, the, I did see the propellers uh, were able to uh, propel this outside of the tube for a little bit longer uh, afterwards. Uh, so what is so what is next uh, with this testing, uh, this little experiment? Well, I really do want to see this run um, in my model boating pond before I develop the launch mechanism further. I do have some ideas on how I'm going to launch this. 
out of the to, out of the torpedo tube uh, from the U-boat. But I really do want to verify that uh, this is a viable uh, propulsion method for these 135th scale torpedoes before proceeding with that step. So look forward to that uh, video uh, later on where uh, I test this in the wild. Hopefully I can get maybe five or six feet of uh, running distance. That would be awesome, uh, but um, that remains to be seen. Uh, the ideal uh, result is to have maybe uh, all three torpedoes functional inside my Type 2 U-boat. I think that would be very, very cool. But, you know, uh, you, you got to crawl before you can walk. So um, the priority with this project remains to have this, the submarine tested uh, for its maiden voyage uh, later on in the spring. So uh, once the submarine is working well, then I can proceed with adding uh, these little goodies uh, to the inside of the boat. And as usual, uh, th this wraps it up for this video. Remember, remember to give us a like and a subscribe uh, for more uh, RC submarine content. And I uh, hope you're all staying safe out there and uh, we will see you in the next video.